Welcome to Boys Dangerous Denny here, bringing you the first video in the new series, Red the Max Rank, on Star Wars Battlefront. Today, we're going to be using the T21B, and we're going to be playing some Walker Assault on Hulk. Uh, we are the Rebels, and we have been enjoying this game pretty late, but, um, or not pretty late, we, we, we joined, uh, the team ended up doing amazing, though, and we won at the second checkpoint, um, and honestly, I couldn't have had a better game to uh, start this series out. We uh, had a flawless at, uh, I believe, 38-0. But basically, uh, in the first video, I talked about what star cards to use, what weapons to use. Uh, I kind of gave a brief overview on why I use each one. And I think that this video is pretty much a perfect explanation um, you know, as to why I use each one. Uh, starting off, uh, the jetpack got me up to this spot, which, I mean, you can't get to unless you have a jetpack. Or you spawn on one of your teammates that does have a jetpack. And then I have two really good long-range weapons for sniping people from down on top of this mountain. Um, you'll see here, this weapon, the t 21 d is about a 2-3 shot kill, depending on where uh, where you land the bullets on the uh, target. And here I switched to the explosive rounds, and you can see how you really don't even have to hit the person. Uh, you just have to hit pretty closely and then you end up killing them. Um, <clears throat> and then coming up here, I actually get really, really lucky. Um, that guy goes with me, one of these guys goes at me with the pulse rifle. And uh, I kind of predicted it, I guess. Uh, so I'm standing still looking at me for a decent amount of time. And then I ended up luckily getting out of the way, right? And it's right here. Um, but anyways, I had a few couple, a couple lucky breaks this uh, this game. But other than that, I did really well um, and helped the team out a lot too because I, I was able to keep large groups of enemies pinned down um, so that they couldn't go shut the uplinks down. And we got a significant amount of bombers each period, um, which eventually led us to winning in the second round. I mean, overall, though, um, I really love this game. Um, I'm pretty excited that it came out. Um, I talked in videos in the past, when, uh, before the beta came out, about how this was one of the games that I literally grew up playing. It was one of my favorite games as, as a kid. So whenever I heard that they were thinking about making a new one, like, obviously this was this is real exciting for me. And honestly, this is all I really could have thought. Could have asked for it. I think a lot of people that played the old ones are going to say the same thing that, you know, the, the old ones came out in the PS2, uh, Xbox generation, so obviously, um, you know, we don't need the, the game modes where you're playing 100 CPUs. do literally, I mean, most of the things you can do on the old Battlefront games, but to way better standards. Um, <clears throat> but for somebody that played all those games, it's really awesome to, to still be able to do all that stuff. Um, I, would, I really want to know what you guys think about the game now. Um, I'm really I'm really excited that it's out. Um, really looking forward to um, hitting rank 50 and getting those cool costumes that you can play as. I guess they're not really costumes or characters, but... Um, you know, the Shadow Trooper looks awesome, the Scout Trooper looks awesome. You know, the Rebel Legendary characters look fucking sweet too. So I'm really looking forward to getting that really high level and, uh, you know, being able to play as those people. Um, but another thing I'm really looking forward to too is the downloadable content. Um, I mean, I remember playing on the old games, playing as like Darth Maul and, and shit like that. and. I mean, who doesn't want to play as Darth Maul? And I'm really hoping that they put the Clone Wars stuff on here. Just so the fact that you can play as, you know, you can play as the droids, you can play as the clone troopers, you have to play on those maps. Um, you know, just use their vehicles, stuff like that. I mean, I, I think that would be really cool if, uh, if they added those features in. And I can't imagine with four DLCs that, um, that they're not going to do that. Um... I don't know, I mean, it, 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 this game is just awesome, and it kind of leaves you for words sometimes. Um, I'm really happy the way that it, it evolved from 
the way the beta was played because I remember the beta, uh, the, the, <laughs> the Empire was just so OP on Walker. So um, I must have played 40, 50 games um, during the beta, and I maybe won once, twice, maybe three times playing as the Rebels just because the, the, the Empire's the vehicles were just so ridiculous, and <laughs> the poor Rebels had no way of taking them out. Um, now the um, Ion Torpedo is like a stock weapon pretty much. I think you get it at like level one, and the, you know two or three of those take out pretty much any vehicle, and you can harass anybody flying around in the jets, um, you know, up in the sky. So that was, that was a really good balancing effect, and I'm really happy with the way that um, people were playing this game in general. Um, in the beta, it just seemed like whenever you were playing Walker Assault, that whenever the game would end, that the Walkers would just have endless health left. And I know a lot of it was from the fact that the Rebels were outgunned, but I think a lot of it too was people didn't understand the game. And either that or they just didn't care. And, uh, you know, if you were the Rebels playing this, for example, you just literally had no chance unless you had somebody on your team that was just ridiculously good and was able to put the team on the back, which was still pretty hard. Um, another thing they fixed too is they fixed the uh, cable tie uh, for this map. I remember in the beta, um, you can only cable tie one of the walkers because if you tried to tie the other one, it would fly you directly into the mountain during the little animation. So that's very nice that they fixed that because that's one of the cool features that they added into this game. Um, obviously, that's a that's a thing from the movie that that they they added in here, and it gives you a distinct advantage whenever you know maybe your team's not doing as well as as they should be, and one of the walkers has you know 70, 80, 90 percent health coming to the last base, and honestly, I mean you're not going to take that down within the time limit, so um, you know it's nice to have that trump card in your back pocket that hey. This thing might have full health, but all I have to do is wrap this cable around full time, four times, and you know, I, I can win it for my team. Um, so I, I, I really like that feature. Um, but I think that eventually some of the stuff might get nerfed. Um, I think something maybe with the accuracy of the planes shooting down. I mean, I'm not complaining because I'm really good at flying the planes, and I love doing that. I love, you know, uh, shooting the people running around on the ground, but. Uh, it, it seems as if that if the one team has the skilled pilots and the other team doesn't, they can just dominate the airspace and just absolutely destroy everybody running around on the ground. So, uh, you know, maybe they're going to change that, maybe not. I mean, if, if it was real life, that's that's the way it would work. Obviously, the team with, or the, the side with the better pilots is going to dominate the airspace, and obviously they're going to have the advantages from that. But since this is a game and people are going to complain, um, you know, I think that might eventually get nerfed. But as you can see, boys, we started off this series with a freaking awesome score. We started out 38 and 0, uh, flawless performance, um, getting into the game. Uh, it, it seemed a little campy at first, but if, if you really think about what we were doing there, uh, uh, you know, I was helping my team get up to the uh, the points by providing, you know, covering fire and really harassing the people running around the ground. Um, before I go, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and add me on PSM so we can play together. Uh, peace out, boys.